Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. As you saw last week, I created a video for buyers to know what the steps are after you go mutual. As we learned last week, what that means is mutual is when you and the seller have accepted the terms of the offer and you are officially under contract. So now this week, I am focusing in on you sellers, what steps happen after you have accepted a buyer's offer and what you can be prepared for. Uh, if you have some questions, please feel free to reach out. What I'm gonna do is give a generic overview of what happens, but each situation is incredibly different. Uh, each contract is different, each transaction and agent, all of the things. And so it's really important that you speak with your agent about your specific transaction. Um, but if you're getting ready to sell, please reach out. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have as this time can be a little confusing, especially because you are most likely buying either another home or you're moving to a rental. And so it can be pretty stressful knowing what happens during the season. Uh, and here is my overview. So first, what is gonna happen is your buyer is gonna have their inspection most likely. This is the home inspection that the buyer completes uh, within usually 10 days. Most of the time it's less or it's waived here in Washington as we're dealing with a pretty competitive market right now. This is where they'll come in with a licensed inspector and fully inspect the home. Unfortunately, you cannot be present for this as we need to give that buyer plenty of time and space to see that home on their own with their licensed inspector and then they'll send a response back to you. Now, some of these are being waived, like I said. Others are having what's called a pass-fail inspection. This is where the buyer tells you, we will ask for no repairs or reduction in purchase price. We'll either accept the transaction or deny it. Now, the next thing that's commonly happening is that they are doing, they're asking for repairs. Uh, this might be issues with your foundation, your roof, your crawl space, your attic, all of those things. Uh, you will have a timeline in which you need to complete those items. They must be completed one week prior to close so that your buyer can walk through and see that they were done satisfactorily. After you have completed the inspection period, the next will be, if applicable, the septic. This is something that you'll need to get done and pumped if it hasn't been done within the last year. Now for this, you'll need to provide receipts if it has been done in the last year. Uh, and if the buyer requests, it needs to be pumped and inspected. That's really critical, not, not every time that happens. So really important to ask your pumping company to complete that. The next will be you providing the HOA documents. This will come with a title report from the title company, but it's important for you to provide any HOA documents that you have, whether it's meeting minutes, um, any receipts or notices, anything like that, uh, as they will have the conditions and covenants, but they will not have meeting minutes and things like that. Those are emailed to you or can be accessed on your HOA uh, website. All of these are specific, so you might not have septic, you might not have HOA, but it's important to know the overview. The next milestone you'll hit is the appraisal. This is where an appraiser will come in your home. This one you can be present for, but please stay out of their way. It's really important that they're able to do their job. They'll be accessing the, accessing the home via a lockbox on the home and then going through doing a quick inspection, head and shoulders is what we call it. They'll peek their head up in the attic and into the crawl space uh, and make sure that everything is up in good condition. The big thing with the appraisal is that it is to test the structural health and safety concerns and to confirm that the loan is a good loan for that home that you live in. Now with this, it is very specific to your home. There's no way to just give a cut and dry answer on what all the appraisal will entail, but I'll cover that next week. Now after that, we are headed towards closing. Your buyer is getting their final approval on their loan. And some things that you can be doing right now are collecting all the keys. These are keys for the house, for the shop, the garage, anything like that. Uh, any garage door openers. Also really important, collect all those manuals that you have for appliances in the home. That way your buyer has all the information in one place when they close on your home. Also important is you making sure that you have confirmed with your utilities that you will be moving on the closing date uh, or on possession date, whatever that comes first. So for that, you want to make sure that your utility company knows whether it's the power, the water, the sewer, garbage, all of that. They know your final day in the home. Now on closing week, you will be contacted by escrow about a week before close to sign the closing documents. This is the title documents and then just being completely done at the home. Moving is also going to be that week. Very important. Um, some buyers are doing possession on the day of close. What that means is they get the keys for your home the day they close. Others are choosing to do what's called a free rent back. This is where they gave you a period of time in the home after closing where you can be in the home rent free. 
This is wonderful for some sellers. Um, each contract is different. Don't forget, you wanna check with your specific contract uh, and be sure you are out on the day that you are supposed to be. Very important. Uh, in that final week, we'll also see the buyer doing their final walkthrough. This is where they'll come through, confirm that everything has been removed as it should be or repaired as it should be. It's very important to be out of the home for this final appointment as well so that they can get a full grasp on the home. That's about it. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me.